Alright guys, so there's something really weird about this spider over here. This is my Brachypelma Sableossum, which is the Guatemalan Red Rum. Now this tea over here, I got it as a sling last year. And I swear, every single mold I checked and determined, tried to determine its gender. And in every mold of it, it had a flap. Let me show you its most recent mold. I don't have the previous molds, but this mold, which it molded like last week, let me show you. Okay, so I'm not, I'm shaking. Why am I shaking? Anyways, I'm not sure if you can see, but there is clearly a flap. Now, when there is a flap, it indicates that the tarantula is a female, am I right? Okay, here's a better view of it without me shaking. You see those two little things that are bulging out in the middle? Yeah, males do not have those. Only females do. But the thing is, this Brachypelma sableossum is like, screw nature, I'm just gonna pick my own gender. So this guy here, or girl, guy, probably, I have no idea to be honest, decided that it wanted to screw the flap, screw being a female, I'm just gonna be a guy instead. So, last week it molted out and surprised me with, if you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, tibial hooks, you see, at the tip of my snake hook there, there are tibial hooks right over there. Now, only males that are mature will have these tibial hooks. Females, when they're mature, they will not have these tibial hooks. These hooks are used by the males to hook onto the female during mating so that he can successfully insert the sperm into her and that she will not be able to grab him. But yeah, as you can see right there, that is clearly a tibial hook. There's a better shot of the tibials for you. Like you see over here, at the end of my snake hooks. Yes, those are the tibial hooks, which indicates that this tarantula is already a mature male. So this is my mature male, Ceratogyrus darlingi. You may have seen him in the previous pairing video of the C. darlingis. And if you look over here, that is a tibial hook. Can't really see the hook, but the thing that is coming out of its leg that's the hook. So I'm finding it really weird with this Brachypelma sableossum. I mean, it has flaps on its mold, but it molted out with hooks. So I seriously, I have no idea what this guy is. I mean, obviously it's a mature male now, but what's with the flaps? I don't know. So I took it to Facebook to ask for some opinions. And a lot of people, as you can see, did mention that it does look like a female until I sent a picture of the T having tibial hooks and this person was like yeah those are tibial hooks so this is really weird what the hell exactly what the hell here's another look of the molt with the two so-called flaps right flaps yeah Males clearly don't have that, right? I mean, I don't know if this species does, but I've had a couple mature males and they did not have those. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Maybe it happened to you guys before. This is the first time this thing is happening to me, so I'm very, not even a little bit, very, very confused. I'm starting to not trust molting by, not molting, uh, sexing by molt is very accurate anymore or maybe it was just me who mistook those as flaps but then again like I said males don't have that so extremely weird huh or at least the males that I had previously didn't have those but like I said let me know in the comments below what you think about this I'm still waiting for more replies on Facebook hopefully I'll get a final conclusion with the Sifu himself but as for now, obviously, it's a mature male. I just want to get some answers for what's up with the flaps in the molt. 
and I shall put my mind at rest after it's been answered. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Well, there's nothing really to enjoy in this video. I just want to show you my transgender intersexual tarantula, if, it, if, if you could say that. <sighs> I don't know, I'll probably send this guy out for breeding loan one day, but a lot of people over here don't have this species. This species is pretty rare in this country, but if it doesn't, if it's not, I'm, if I'm not able, I can't speak, god damn it. <laughs> if I can't find a mature female for this male, I'll probably just maybe auction him off at a very cheap cost or maybe if he doesn't survive then I will preserve him or something. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this weird random video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.